hello everyone so today i'm going to explain like how we are going to store some json kind of request or response uh, into a database so previously actually i was showing like uh, there is a how we are using the cascading kind of thing in a database so i'm going to use the same example here over here like uh, so here basically i'm going to explain like suppose there is a one request is coming from the uh, like from any APIs or any any from where it is integrated then from where it is coming N now maybe there are some certain scenarios like maybe we need to store those kind of request and what kind of response we are providing into the endpoint or any third party if we are integrating with that so those request and response basically in a JSON format basically how we are going to store or capture those informations for any future reference maybe in future based on this request and response maybe we need to do some kind of analysis or maybe if we do want if we do want to re-trigger those uh, events uh, in some if it is something failed then maybe we need to we need to prepare those request again instead of those kind of thing we can directly get the request from the saved request and uh, uh, then accordingly we can retry those things even from the response what are the response we are getting for, from any integration service so that response also we can store like uh, then we can analyze what happened in this scenario so those will be very helpful so today basically i'm going to explain like how we are going to store those request and response uh, in a json structure into a database so as a database i'm going to use the mysql database as like mysql 5.7 plus basically from this version basically it support uh, these uh, json fields into a mysql column mysql fields so i'm going to show you like how you are going to create any table so for demonstrating this one i am i am going to create this table basically and here basically i'm just keeping one field two fields one is the id another one is the request we can just for the means uh, de like demonstrating purpose i'm just keeping this else it will be a name would be different like it will be a kind of uh, any table name like uh, maybe uh, we can say it's a uh, request response uh, data or something like that okay so how we are going to create this table one for that like as you can see where this is the create statement like create table this id name salary request okay so basically here we don't need this one okay so these are the like kind of those normal but still i'm going to create over here and this is the request this is basically important actually this request okay request and as you can see the field structure is json like we are having the var card begin double so it's a json basically okay and here primary is id so once you create it then you can see this table is created and the table is over here so this is the kind of sql squared is for create statement how we are going to create this table and what will be the field so this is the json field and now if you are going to okay now if we're going to create this same uh, uh, like uh, like table over here so here you can see the id and this uh, request so this is basically we can represent as a string okay and uh, then it will automatically like it will store those JSONs. now i'll show you like how we are going to store those things uh, into a into a table so for that basically we need to first of all provide uh, uh, the proper in the properties file basically we need to provide the information like what is the uh, driver class name database url username password and data source type so these are the details basically this is the driver class name mysql cj driver for basically connecting for with this mysql this is the driver class name we need to provide then basically we need to provide the database url so this is the basically url for connecting with the database and then username password we need to provide over here what kind of data source type is a like a, a kind of hikari data source we are using over here in next few uh, properties we are going to over use over here we need to provide the dialect like what is the dialect it's a mysql dialect that also we need to provide over here and also like uh, maybe we can which the source equal is not needed so that's why it's a false and maximum pull size we are going to over here five so this is the properties that we are going to use over here okay now if we come over in the properties file sorry in the controller so here basically we are going to use this saved one and here basically we are going to create one service uh, in this uh, gps service 
and this particular survey basically uh, is uh, responsible to save data so we are going to create one method over here it will be a public obviously because private will be not accessible from outside and then basically we are going to create uh, one DTO over here like for example demo DTO demo DTO equal to new demo DTO okay and here basically in this DTO we are going to set some data set name for example test and then demo DTO dot set salary for example 50k okay now what we are going to do over here we are now going to we are now going to create one this employee entity emp equals to new new employee okay now employee dot set id it will be automatically now here basically we need to set the request so as you can see like we are going to set the request as json so for that we are we need to take one object mapper basically it is uh, is uh, responsible to like convert this detail into a json okay new object mapper okay so basically here map dot write value as string okay and here basically we are going to pass this detail so what it will do over here and it will throw some exception from here either we can throw or we can like uh, okay so that means this employee is ready now and next we are going to save this data from over here okay dot save and this entity we are going to pass over here okay so this is done now and we can put some log over here like once it is saved successfully then we can put some logs over here so that it we can understand okay so this is save is done now now from the controller basically we need to enable this method okay so that means it's ready now and as you can see over here as a dependencies we have used this uh, these are the like very basic uh, dependencies that i have used as a mysql as i am going to use so for that uh, i need to use this mysql connector j this is a basically need for this one else it will get uh, issues for this one so that means this is ready now okay okay so let me start this one first of all i hope it's clear now like it's a very simple one like uh, uh, the thing is that like how we are going to achieve this one uh, how we are going to store the json into a, a database uh, if you guys still have any doubt please let me know in the comment sections and also i will put this code into a like github repository and also i'll share that link into the description sections okay it's started now now let me try this one okay save this okay data save successfully so initially it was empty now if we refresh this one you can see the json is ready now right you can see the json fields over here in the log also you can see the employee and address uh, saved successfully because previously i was uh, having those things uh, so let me like uh, remove this one employee having the address so that's why it's in a log it's showing something like that okay it's auto auto reload okay now if we check the database it's having a single now if we try again so it will reinsert those record in this reinsert those record like this okay so id is auto generated and also is destroying the json okay so like as you can see it's very easy what we did over here we have keeping so this detail basically coming from any request uh, like uh, as we are having here controller so in the as a parameter request body will get this request then the, this particular request will come over here and then accordingly we can service we are mapping this those things in an entity and then accordingly we need to save those things and here basically we are using the object mapper just to convert this DTO to the JSON as a string as you can see in the employee table it's a string so we are string, storing those things as a string so 
means and also for create supporting this json we need to use this one as a json so these are the like few basic things that we need to follow for storing json uh, uh, like request and response into a table so this is a very common thing so just to summarize those things first of all we need to use the mysql connector j driver over here means as a dependency over here for using the mysql then secondly like we need to provide the driver class name database url username password and then other things in mysql related things over here in the properties file so that it will connect with the mysql database this is the like schema name as you can see over here jp underscore demo this is the schema name that i have provided over here we need to create the table with json fields just to support those uh, json structure to storing into the database then basically we have created one service and here we have prepared the DTI and also converted those into the string so that it will store those JSONs into a table. And uh, we have uh, like uh, created this repository just to save the data. And from the controller, we have just called this same method. So that's it for this one. Like it's a very easy thing. Still, if you guys have any doubt, please do let me know in the comment sections. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.